My name is Rachel Pearson. I am the team lead for the residential placement team within CPST. I just wanted to have a conversation basically to go through the kind of skills that we're looking for for people within the care and support broker roles. So we're looking um, for people that are really good at being part of a team and that are able to share information and knowledge with their peers, but also able to give advice and support um, and receive advice and support from others. On the flip side of that as well, we need you to be able to work independently and autonomously um, and basically show an initiative that you can work on your own and you can take um, on challenges and progress the work, even though there are challenges that you may come across. So care and support brokers need to be um, good verbal communicators. We have to be able to um, communicate openly and clearly with the customer and their families and ex of kins. But we also will be working closely with social work teams and with other partner services as well. So um, we do a lot of our communication by email and telephone. So by having really strong telephone communication skills and being able to note everything on the system, but also being able to use soft software and spreadsheets as well. And when working with care homes and with families, we need to be able to explain what we're doing to them and explain the services that we are looking into. There will be negotiations that will be taking place with care homes on behalf of West Sussex. And when it comes to finances, it's the case of having to explain what we're doing to families and being able to really help and guide them through the process. Because when they do come into our services, not always do they know what is going on. So it's really good that we can give really open and clear um, explanations of what we are doing, the processes that we follow, and it helps reassure them at that time. We also need people to be able to work in an organised way that, that when work comes through, they can prioritise their work and they can risk assess. So currently our care and support brokers do this throughout the day. Um, it's a case of having a look at what cases they've got allocated to them, seeing obviously what they were able to do on that case the day before, but things may have changed by the next day. And we may have had other cases that have come through that actually then need to be prioritised over cases that they have already worked on. So again, it's using the knowledge and the skill set that you have and the skills that you can transfer from any previous jobs that you've done and use that within the care and support broker role and to be organised and risk assess and basically make sure that you are keeping on top of the cases that you have and using your team for support along the way. So care and support brokers need to be able to actively listen to customers and their families, but also be non-judgmental. No two cases are the same. So it's taken on board what has come through on the assessments from the social workers and just having a look at what the information you've been provided with and us trying to find the best options for that customers and remaining person centred at all times. We need care and support brokers to be able to build relationships and rapport with people, whether that is, again, families and customers, it's external services as care homes could be that you need to speak to the social workers or nursing services to make sure that the, the needs can be met in the care homes that are being sourced. So it's about being really open and having them clear communication, whether it is on the telephone or via email. We would like people that are passionate and enthusiastic about helping people within our community. Yes, we need to be aware of budget and how much care homes are costing, but we also, like I said, need to be person-centred, keeping that customer at the forefront of what we do at all times, um, making sure that we can find the best fit for them and that their care and support needs are going to be met in the safest way possible. But also it's about being flexible and adaptable within your role. And um, We do get urgent cases that come through and we do at times get more than one case that comes through where we need to find a placement very quickly so it's about being able to think on your on your feet it can be um, a very fast-paced job but it's also a very rewarding job so they're, they're some of the skills that we are looking for at the moment within the care and support broker role within CPST.